Hello, this is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. Today I'd like to talk to you about a very important subject and the title I gave it was Calming an Acid Tummy. Many people nowadays actually suffer from serious cases of digestive disturbances commonly known as GERD or acid tummy. GERD means gastroesophageal reflux disorder which basically means that there's acid coming up from your stomach or juices coming up from your stomach into your throat, an esophagus really, which is the tube that links your stomach to your mouth. Um, well, obviously this is happening. Uh, all you have to do is go to um, the average supermarket and you'll find almost an entire aisle dedicated to acid-related products. You may have Tums or calcium carbonate, which is the same thing, or Pepto-Bismol or many other different products there that attest to the fact that people have problems with their digestion and it's very common that people have those issues. Well, there are many reasons why. And in order to understand the reasons why, one has to take a little bit of a look into how the body digests food. Basically, when you take something into your mouth, you're supposed to chew it. Of course, how many people do, right? You see so many people swallowing things whole, it's almost become a joke. Uh, the old, um, I guess, family saying of, oh, chew your food just like grandma said. Well, grandma probably was the only one who had a little bit of wisdom in the family, it would seem, because otherwise, how are you going to digest your food? You have to chew it. It's the reason we have teeth. You chew it down into as much, as close as a liquid form as possible, it gets to the stomach and then enzymes within the food and also enzymes stored in the body that are used for digestion. In addition to digestive juices such as hydrochloric acid and other acids are secreted into the stomach. But this all starts in the mouth. When you chew your food, for example, there's one enzyme secreted in the mouth called tylin that helps digest starches. Well, that's just one. So chewing our food is a great step. That will really help because it makes it easier for to digest to digest the food. Another thing, another reason why chewing food is so important is that the action of chewing releases nutrients, releases carbohydrates, sugars, proteins, etc., etc., into a smaller state that the body can actually recognize. So it, it actually sends signals to the brain to the satiety centers of the brain um, to tell the brain, okay, you've had enough protein, fat, carbohydrate, whatever. And so it's also part of the signal that tells us to stop eating sooner. Why is this important in acid tummy? Well, one of the reasons we get acid tummy is because we overeat. We overeat because we don't get that signal, partially because we don't chew our food. Some other things that can be very beneficial are also to avoid fluids when you're eating. One of the reasons is, I talked about those enzymes, hydrochloric acid, etc., tylin. One of the challenges is if you consume water with your meals or any other liquid, it waters down or dilutes those juices, those digestive juices, making them less effective, making it harder for us to actually break the food down. When it's hard for us to break down, the body actually tends to want to regurgitate the food because you know we've overpacked the stomach um, and and that's a an issue that many people deal with you know and partially like I said before it's because if you don't chew the food you don't get those signals to the brain that you've had enough and so you overeat when you overeat food tends to come up uh, in addition more often than not people say they have acid stomach and so the drugs that they're put on are drugs to reduce acidity when in reality they don't have enough acid. Uh, there's a, a little mechanism that goes on whereby when you have sufficient acid, the stomach sends a message to the, um, the sphincter that separates the esophagus from the entrance of the stomach, um, often called the cardiac sphincter. That sphincter is supposed to close when there's sufficient acid secreted into the stomach in order to digest the food that's been basically taken into the body. Unfortunately, since most people don't have enough acid, they're low in acid, that can be an issue. There's certain herbs, for example, one we have at Enerhealth called Meadowsweet, that actually help to balance upwards or downwards 
the amount of acid that you have in your stomach, the hydrochloric acid that's secreted. So that can be very, very helpful. Um, other things that can be good for digestion are cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, for example. Uh, they're all great herbs. We have all of those at Enter Health. And one thing that I haven't mentioned yet that I want to just introduce is food combining. It's basically the science of combining certain foods and not combining others. The simple rules of it, I recommend, recommend that you look up food combining on the internet and study it a little bit. The basics are don't eat fruit with any other food and also eat your starches, as in rice, potatoes, blah, 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 separate from your proteins, as in meat, fish, chicken, eggs, etc. So if you keep all those things separate, it means you can have eggs with vegetables, but not, not potatoes. Potatoes are a starch. You can have your potatoes and your rice, for example, with vegetables. So that's the basic tenets of food combining. Use all of these suggestions, your digestion will improve, add the herbs too, and you'll definitely be happy you watch this daily dose. Thank you all for watching and listening. This is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with the Daily Dose.